All right. Hello. Hi there. I'm Mike Samulak. I'm Jose. And uh, we would like to uh, share with you a little something that we're trying to put together for the people of Puerto Rico. That's right. Uh, we're both from Cleveland, Ohio, co-workers yeah. here yeah. Uh, with church work mm -hmm. and uh, also other endeavors. Um, but um, we're still thinking about the things in Puerto Rico and the people who don't have power or electricity. Yeah. And uh, how we can help them. What is helping Puerto Rico, the people of Puerto Rico? Now, why is because, well, they're, <laughs> we're in the people business. We love people. Yeah. Um, but also, it's a little close to home. That's right. Um, my, my, you know, half of my heritage is Colombian. My family is in Puerto Rico still, so I still have family and, and I have a lot of friends there. So that's our main connection. Yeah. And um, then we found a product called Luminade, mm -hmm. um, which is a solar-powered lantern. That's right. That also helps with charging, um, USB port charging. So this would be a great help to the people in Puerto Rico who don't have power still. Many don't have power or electricity. That's right. People around the, around the, um, the mountainous region, as you can see back here, you know, there's a... All around the mountains, close to the mountains and up the mountains, um, they still haven't gotten any power, you know. So um, there are families and even spots in the uh, the low, the, the better, more populated uh, cities. There are some spots that still don't have power. So uh, a lamp in in which you know at night that they could have some some light, it would relieve a lot of stress. This this lantern also uh, allows for charging of it's solar powered again, so you know they can charge it if they do get intermittent electricity or from a generator, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people can't do that and they can't do it all the time, even that's if right. that's what they're doing. Yeah. Um, so this gives a little bit of a relief just for some light at night and be able to charge your phone for communication. Um, all this we feel like um, would just be a big relief um, to the people that we know personally, mm -hmm. and also if we get enough support, um, could help the people in the mountain regions nearby. Mm -hmm. Um, and then who knows from there. Um, but that's at least our two, you know, main phases we're looking at. Phase one is a hundred units. Um, so we're asking people to, you know, whatever they can do, but when it adds up to $50, let's say it's $5, $10, $50, $50 basically covers one unit plus shipping, plus the GoFundMe charges and things like that. And then um, if we can get 100 units to the, the Jose's families there. Caguas. My family lives in Caguas. And then I have uh, friends and relatives uh, all over. And uh, so between my family and some of the connections that we have, we feel like we, we would get uh, these lamps distributed to the really needed. So this is really grassroots. You know, we're just two guys from Cleveland who's <laughs> got, you know, hearts back uh, in Puerto Rico and, uh, right. and to help the people there. And um, so, you know, we would be shipping them directly if the funds are there, um, doing this through um, any organization. So your contributions, unfortunately, will be non-tax um, deductible. Um, they're just going to be totally free will offerings here. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you, if you do decide to donate, um, this will not be tax deductible. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but Illuminate did approve us, so we still get their discounted rates. And that's how we can um, work with the numbers we are working with. Um, so more about the lanterns in the below in, in the uh, what about this campaign? You'll see the specs on the lanterns and what they can do. And um, hopefully that's enough um, for people to um, find it in their heart to control. Every dollar would go directly. We're not taking that's anything. Right. Every we would um, buy as much as many lamps that we can with whatever uh, whatever dollar amount that we we have, yeah. and we would ship it. Ship them right to his family, who then can get people. It's like a big family, family on family. You know, if you know somebody, then you're going to get a lantern, basically. That's right. That's how it goes. Um, and we'll be able to get them out. We promise you that. We'll have pictures to confirm that. But basically, the 100 units is our first main phase goal. Um, that's where the cost brings us to the ability to do that for that $50 kind of price point. And then phase two is if we get up to $250, um, but that's just kind of you know what we're really hoping for then we can really start to get them to people even in the mountains nearby you can see the map behind us mm -hmm. those those ones in those places still don't even have power in any kind of um, capacity mm -hmm. so a light with some ability to charge their phone and have some communication yeah they come down to work in Jose's family's hometown and then they go back up to the mountains and it's it's just it's dark so we want to turn the lights on 
in Puerto Rico. Um, so if you find it in your heart to donate a little bit, whatever, like we said, we're just going to add it up. And every fifty dollars, basically, that's another light. Mm-hmm. And um, we want to get the we want to get lights for Puerto Rico. That's this campaign, and we hope you could contribute. Thank you for your time. And thank you for your contribution and your heart.